Hello everyone, Wolfie93 here, and today I am going to be showing you a little cool trick on Minecraft. So I'll just uh, wait for it to load. And... Okay. I just fell. So I mentioned to a few other people that I made some in infinite big fireworks. And I'm going to show you kind of how I did it. Well, exactly how I did it. So we'll start first by making the firework launchers. Okay, if I remember how to do this. Uh, okay. So, start right here. Find a good spot. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Excuse me. Don't put those down first. Okay, what we need to do is lay these, do one and skip one. Place those up. Okay, no. I want to do it this okay so we've got that part done this is how it should look like and then oh, excuse me this is needs to go like this uh, excuse me uh, okay. push the wrong button and then this is, you know, I'm actually thinking that that's too far away. And so if it is, we'll actually place this a little bit closer. And it, that's not good. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of making a little, some mistakes right now. That's good, okay. Make those disappear. Put the new block of grass. And I want to fix my gate, my fence, whatever you want to say. All right. So for the firework launchers, this is how it should look. You could add more, less, whatever. If you're like me, Yes, I have so many on this side, so many on this side, and then right there, because, uh, oh well. Then, next thing we need to do is grab a crafting table. Yes, you're going to have to have one of those. And then, uh, one of these um, boxes. And, you know what? Just go with my favorite color. Put that right there. Put that right. Ew. So this is how it should look like when you're done doing that. Okay, now let's start building the fireworks. And uh, it's going to be a lot simpler than what you think. Find your dyes. And yes, bone meal is considered a dye. So. For what I'm doing, just uh, do a bit of this, go back here. I use the glowstone dust, and I'll show you what that does. And then when that is done, oh, wait. Now there are different recipes for making fireworks, and 
and uh, this is kind of technically the easiest way to do this. Oh, if you want your fireworks to be a lot bigger, yes, use a fire charge. You'll see what I mean when I'm done. And then I'll get back out of that. I want to change my settings to do something. Uh, I don't want that. So when it gets dark, it'll look a lot nicer. All right, so back to making the fireworks for a uh, minute. Then just keep doing this. Just for the next couple minutes. Although, if um, you're like me, everything has got to be in order or it will literally start to paranoia me because I would know that this step is not in order. And then go back here. So when you do this, yes, you always want to start in creative. That way you have everything. And then as for the next part, I will show you how infinite these fireworks are. And I okay, got those three done. Now, a lot of, no, at least one of these parts, I actually found out solely by accident on this really cool trick. Um, I was doing something in another part of my world. I thought I was going to have to redo all of this. And the reason I'm doing all of this right now is to exactly show from scratch how to make the big fireworks. And again, there are different recipes for making different type of fireworks in Minecraft. I just stick with this because it seems to just work a lot better than um, other recipes. And yes, I know it's going to take a little bit of time. Don't worry, when this is done, it will pay off. And then infinite fireworks when I am done. And I did uh, do a little bit of research on infinite inventory on Minecraft. It turns out someone actually had mentioned that you will have to somehow crash the game and make it glitch out, then you get infinite inventory. Well, this is not crashing the game. And if I could play it, play it this way on an emulator, 
without crashing it, then um, definitely other versions such as the, no, I'm not going to say it, should work just fine. Just remember, creative mode has got to come first. That way you could do what I am literally about to show you. Uh oh. Yes, I want that like that. And cool. Okay. And then we got one more firework to build. Uh -oh. And then all right, we are nearly done with this. The, this uh, first part uh, is the okay. All right. Now, good thing with this, you don't have to fill all this stuff up. You just go one straight line of the firework stars, and then you go down here, get three papers. Excuse me. Three papers, three gunpowders, place one of the stars up here, one of the papers, and one of the gunpowders. And then after that's been made, you just simply repeat this process. And uh, it's not a long process, as you can tell. And I bet you may be asking, how did I discover this special little trick? Well, a few days ago, I was playing this game and I meant to do something. Instead, something else happened. It turns out... I thought I was going to have to redo all of this, but it turns out I don't. Because I don't know if the game is meant to do this or if this is a glitch in the game. I don't know, but I do like it, which is very, very cool. And we are, again, almost done. Still got a couple more to do after this one. Hey. No, you need to go right there. I did um, my left analog stick. is getting tired of me going too fast for it. And... Uh, don't worry about me going too fast because I know what I'm doing. You could always rewatch this video on other days, or at least whenever you want to do something big like this. Okay, so this is all done. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, yay. It is nighttime. Uh, daylight cycles turn off. All right. Then, before we get too carried away in loading all the fireworks into these firework dispensers, as I call them now, you are going to want to load all of these fireworks all in here. Nothing wrong with going a little fast. You just I just missed one. Okay, now. All the fireworks, all the hard work we have done, at least I have done, we have things for the help. Right in here, yes, I am going to break it. I'm going to go back, uh, replace it. And I'm going into my little home. 
and uh, find the door. Come in here. There's my puppies. Place it right here, and I'm gonna get rid of that. Yes, Moonar and Luna. My two little, my two wolves. And yes, I uh, haven't fed them in a while, so I will feed them right now. Where is the food? Ah, the food. The, excuse me. Uh, what would you like? Chicken, pork chop, or beef? Okay, you know what? We'll go with the beef. Okay. Yes, no puppies. Okay, you still have water? And uh, get up. Alright, so this box is placed right there on the front of my bed. Uh, oh, don't need to see that. Now, I like these uh, type of boxes because to me, for my trailer, they look like a safe. Okay, we don't need to go through my safe. Um, at least not. Yeah, okay, no one needs to go through that safe. Uh, I could put one in each of these extra bedrooms in the trailer. Yes, my big TV, surround sound system. Got that. Got my bedroom, got a bathroom here. Nothing goes on in here. Uh, an oven with a little cooktop, a sink, crafting table. And why do I have those in there? That's uh, kind of interesting. Okay, well, I don't need to know. All right. Yes, my fireworks are all in there. The big infinite fireworks. Then I go all the way back here. And grab this. Because when I made my grab it, is I break it? Infinite fireworks? Literally, you could play, you could like build a whole inventory on these not gonna hurt anything because as you can see I am just completely placing so many of these down that it's not gonna ever run out okay I want to go back those away and you can see every single one of these boxes has all the fireworks in it So when you get down to the last box, you don't take anything out, you break it like this, pick it up, place it, and then you literally place more and more. And uh, well, I hope you get the picture because if you don't, well, something's wrong with you. Well, hopefully it ain't too bad. Okay, so you, you get the picture of the whole infinite fireworks. You just keep placing them down. It's like a very simple cloning technique. And then I'm going to take all these fireworks out. Put them in my inventory. Break, excuse me, break that. Because I no longer need that one. And I'm going to load it up. Then nothing wrong with going a little too fast. It just makes the video shorter and people may seem to like it more. Except for some of the short ones I have out there. Nobody likes. Alright. So.
So yes, when you place this, this uh, piece down, you always want to make sure the light is lighting up. Yes, it is. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is pull the lever. Oh, excuse me, I forgot something, um, took a little bit of redstone dust, uh, you place it, you just place it around the throat, uh, nothing going on here, and then, yes, you have a huge, big, Firework display! And yes, the glowstone dust is what makes it sparkle, and the fire charge is what makes it bigger. So, if I wanted to, when all this stuff is done, I could literally open up another one, place it in here. Again, like I said, when I get done to the last one, I break it pick it up, place it down, and then get more fireworks. So pretty much an infinite loop of fireworks. As long as you are in creative mode, you could do as many of those as you want in creative, go to survival mode, and then what you do is just stock up on fireworks. And yes, the different dyes will add different colors, different, um, but yes, even though I am playing on a emulator, I don't have all the things like um, the original version should. And if you come back on January 1st, I don't know what time. Could be early in the morning, later at night. I don't know. Hopefully you could uh, come back and see this whole thing, literally all of these big fireworks going off with a 2025. I can't wait until then, even though that this video is a couple months early for that part. Um, this is just then because I already mentioned to a few people, I can make Bigger fireworks, infinite fireworks, big infinite fireworks. And right now, I'm going to just let you watch the fireworks, and I am literally just going to shut up. Have a good day, or night.